Thank you for viewing another great video from Ingram's Water and Air. Congratulations on your selection of a floor heating system from Warm Floor. Warm Floor is the leading manufacturer of high quality UL listed electric radiant floor heating systems. Now here's our installation video. This video will show you just how easy it is to install your system. Following a few easy steps will assure enjoyment of warm floors for many years to come. The first step in planning your project is to determine the heating area. Sketch the shape of the floor space to be heated, measure the floor space, and mark the measurements on the layout sketch. Exclude the space under built-in cabinets, fixtures such as toilets and bathtubs, and appliances such as refrigerators and ovens. Finally, calculate the total square footage of the floor space to be heated. Contact your supplier for assistance if necessary. Items needed for a successful installation include the floor heating system, multiple mats may be required to cover your floor heating area, a thermostat with a floor sensor, and an installation manual. The recommended accessories are a backup floor sensor, an installer monitor, a plastic trowel, and a pair of soft foam knee pads. A few common household tools will be helpful in installing your floor heating system. Scissors for cutting the mesh, a screwdriver for making thermostat connections, wire strippers for the sensor wire, a multimeter for measuring resistance, and a tape measure for floor dimensions. You will also need either a staple gun, a hot glue gun, or duct tape to secure your heating system to the subfloor. Make sure the subfloor is structurally sound and free of debris especially fasteners such as nails and screws that might be penetrating the subfloor that could damage the heating system's wires. If desired, measure and mark the heating mat layout plan on the floor. Snap a chalk line to mark the heating area boundary and or the heating mat rows. Before doing anything with the heating system, check the resistance of the heating mats using a commonly available multimeter. Using a multimeter, measure the resistance between the insulated lead wires, black and white in this example, and then between each lead wire and the ground wire. Match the resistance measurements to the factory resistance recorded on, on the label affixed to the heating mat. The resistance measures will be checked before, during, and after installation. Be sure to record the resistance readings on the designated page in the installation manual for warranty purposes. Install either a single gang or a double gang electrical box, as demonstrated in this example, approximately 5 feet up the wall for housing the thermostat. A double gang box will provide ample room for connecting the lead wires or multiple mats. Install separate conduits for routing the lead wires and the sensor wires from the subfloor to the thermostat. A larger 3 quarter inch conduit will allow multiple mat lead wires. If using a double gang box, a single gang mud ring will be required. Be sure to install bushings at the bottom of the conduit to prevent chafing of the wires. When installing the heating system, do not overlap the heating wires. Do not cut the heating wire. Leave a minimum of 2 inches between the heating wires. Take resistance readings often to ensure the mats have not been compromised. Using the Instalar monitor at this stage will assist you in ensuring a trouble-free installation. Roll out the floor heating mats according to the layout design. Leave 2 to 3 inches of space between the mat and the wall or other objects. Before turning the mat, Simply cut the fiberglass mesh all the way across, being careful not to cut the heating wire. As demonstrated in this example, make a U-turn and run the next row parallel with the previous row. Refer to your installation manual for other turn examples.
Cutting the mesh on both sides of the heating wire will free the heating wire to allow for custom shaping. Use this method to avoid obstacles or fill the mat in in places where a full width will not fit. Check to be sure the heating mat rows are straight and that there is proper spacing between all heating wires with no overlaps. Depending on the subfloor, your heating mats can be secured to the floor with hot glue, a staple gun, or duct tape. When using tape, be sure to use thin strips and avoid placing too much tape on the heating wire. Position the sensor wire evenly spaced between two heating wires without crossing the heating wire. Weave the sensor through the mesh. At this point a backup sensor can be installed if desired. Run the lead wires in the space between the wall and the floor heating mat. Repeat the resistance measures to ensure that no changes have occurred while installing the heating mats. It is highly recommended to keep the Installarm installation monitor connected to the floor heating mats throughout the installation process. Proceed to spread the mortar using a notch trowel and lay tiles as you would on any similar job. We recommend using a 3 8 inch notch trowel unless the job calls for applying a thicker mortar bed. Using our plastic trowel will prevent nicking the heating wires during installation. Before making electrical connections, repeat the resistance measures taken earlier. Complete your electrical connections by connecting the mats and the sensor wire to the thermostat. Mount it to the wall. It is strongly recommended that a licensed electrician can make all the connections. Now that you have successfully completed your radiant floor heat installation, relax and enjoy the comfort and prestige of energy saving warm floors for many years to come.